channel. I hope everyone is doing well. This video today is definitely an unplanned one. I had this makeup look in mind and I was originally just gonna do the makeup and post it on Instagram and leave it at that. But I actually thought it would be a good opportunity for me to film like a catch up video while doing the makeup. It's kind of your classic Christmassy glam. Like you know when you wanna wear nice makeup on Christmas day but you don't wanna spend hours on it but you still wanna feel like you look glam. So yeah, I thought I would let you guys know where I have been because if you are a subscriber of mine or you have watched any of my videos before you will know that I haven't uploaded in about three months. There is an explanation behind that and I will hopefully remember to tell you exactly what I'm doing and what products I'm using as I go along but if at any point I haven't mentioned what I've been using I will be linking all of the products in the description box below alongside a bunch of discount codes that I have for some of my favourite brands as well so be sure to check that out. Before we get into it please don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button it really does help me out and let's get straight on into the makeup. I haven't filmed a video in so long my chest has gone all red. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but it's kind of gone down a little bit now, but I was getting so stressed about that intro. <laughs> I'm just going to start off by cleansing my face with a little bit of the micellar water. It's so dark outside now. I think it's like four o'clock and it literally feels like 10 o'clock at night. It gets dark so early in the UK now. It feels like you only get half a day to do anything and when it hits half three that's it your time's up day's over <laughs> so before i put any makeup on i always like to just give my skin a little bit of a cleanse before i put moisturizer on in case any excess oil is on there or any dirt or anything like that you never know what's on your skin yeah it's been about three months since i last uploaded i think i think i uploaded my last video in august and that was just a makeup haul and since then so much has happened. I'm just going in with a little bit of the Laura Mercier moisturizer. If you've watched a lot of my videos before, then you may have noticed that my background is a little bit different from the last video. The main reason and explanation behind where I've been the past couple of months is that I now have my very own makeup studio and that is what I'm filming in now. My brain has just been all about the studio for the last three months or so that I've created content for my Instagram page but YouTube just kind of took a back seat because I never felt like I was fully ready to start filming a video and I don't know if anybody else is like this but whenever I haven't done something for a really long time I kind of it's not like a fear but I kind of build up this kind of I don't know what it is but I get this feeling like I don't want to do it if I haven't done it in a really long time which is exactly what I was feeling with YouTube I just like I mean you saw my chest like after I literally just filmed the intro and that was it and my chest was all red like I am that kind of person, the moment I get kind of the teensiest bit like anxious or stressed then my chest flares up and it goes all red and it's just not attractive but... So I don't want to discuss too much about my studio as in like what I've done and how I did it and things like that because, because I do have a video coming soon that is going to be explaining all of that anyway. It's going to be like a, like a transformation kind of video. I filmed so many behind the scenes bits and how it was built, how it was made. So you guys will see exactly what it looked like before, during and after and I'm definitely going to be including a kind of tour at the end of that video so you guys can see my new studio space. I'm literally in love with it. I'm so happy with how everything is turned out. So predominantly this space is for all of my freelance clients. I have the room kind of split into three. I've got the side for all of my clients so when they come in to get their makeup done for like parties and, and then I have a space for where I do all of my content creation and my filming where I'm sat now and then I also have a side where I store all of my makeup and I've got my kind of like office side so where I've got my desk and things like that and all of my admin but I'm so excited to show you guys and I feel like this video is just the start of all that's to come so yeah keep an eye out for my studio kind of reveal video I feel like that one's going to be the next one I upload I'm not really too sure how exactly I'm going to be doing this eye look I just know that I want it to have like a statement wing so I think I'm going to keep my eye makeup quite 
natural and bronzy. As you might have seen in the thumbnail picture, it's going to have a really deep lip. But I don't really want too much going on with my eye makeup because I feel like the lip is like a statement. And I'm the kind of person that I feel like if I've got like a bright lip on, I want nude eyes. And then obviously vice versa, if I've got bright eyes, then I'll go for a nude lip. I apologise if you guys can hear anything in the background. Um, the like pitter patter is rain because my studio is outside in my garden so it's fully insulated so it's warm in here it's cozy but you can hear things like outside so if you can hear anything that's the rain i'm just using a little bit of my hula caramel bronzer with a morphe blending brush this is from the madison beer collection i can't stop playing with my hair because i don't know if anybody's noticed but my hair looks so much thicker and fuller look at how long it is i've just clipped in some beauty works i think that they're called the double hair set i ordered 22 inches of these clip-ins and I'm honestly obsessed with them. I'm definitely going to be doing a video in the future. I just want to wait a little bit because I am actually going to get my hairdresser to clip them in. Clip them in. Cut them in. So once that's been done then I am actually going to film a video reviewing them. I am just blending in a darker brown shade. This is the shade drip from the Naked Honey palette from Urban Decay. You can tell that I haven't filmed in a really long time because my camera stopped recording and I didn't notice. In terms of the makeup, all that I did since was I applied a little bit of my P. Louise base in the shade Rumour 2 and I popped that on the inner corners of my eyes as kind of like a base to lighten it up a little bit. I used a little bit of the shade Golden from the Naked Honey palette. This one here. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyeliner now. I want this to be like a really dramatic wing. I saw Kylie Jenner doing her eyeliner and she did it like from the inner corner and drew the line out first before doing the wing and she made it look so easy and I just thought like how do you do it that way but I'm trying to do it that way today so if it all goes wrong then I'm gonna blame Kylie Jenner I'm gonna quickly go and do the other eye off camera because that took me far too long to just do one so I'll be right back I don't know what it is about this eye but it's just not playing ball today so oh, that'll do you know when you just get to a point when you do your eyeliner and you just think like if I carry on this is gonna end up really bad. This is something that I do every single time I put false lashes on. I always put my mascara on first because I find it a lot easier to blend the falsies into your natural lashes but I'll show you once I've applied my lashes how I do it. I recently went to B&M and I bought two different types of baskets. I bought one basket that I'll show you in my studio tour but I also bought this little basket. How cute! I literally love this, like I thought of this idea because when I used to work on a makeup counter I saw that MAC had their own little baskets, they weren't as like gappy as that, they were a lot more mesh so products couldn't slip through as easily but all of the girls whenever they would finish their appointments they would have these baskets and they would clear up all of their products at their like desk where the mirror was and then they'd go round with the basket full of their products and just put everything back and I thought that's such a good idea like you'll see in my video the way I store all of my makeup it's not in like a vanity where I'm sat at now I have to actually like pick up all of my products and then carry them to somewhere else where I store them and honestly having that little basket is a lifesaver because it just, it means that like when I'm finished and I want to tidy all of my products away, I can just pick them all up, pop them all in the basket, and then put them all away a lot easier from the basket. It does make you feel like you're shopping though, like when I go, to, go over there to get all of my products and then I get them all out and I put them in the basket, it makes me feel like I'm at Asda or something. Shopping my collection, as they say. So if you're someone like me and when you do your makeup you literally spread out and everything's everywhere, it's really hard to tidy it all away. I feel like when you're looking at it like right in front of you, it looks like it's a mountain of a task. 
if you get yourself one of those little baskets, chuck everything in the basket, even if you don't have time to tidy it away then, it's still cleared and tidied your desk away so that then you can then tidy it up later from the basket. I am sure you can get that from Amazon or I think even Ikea do little baskets like that but they are more of like, they look like a basket you would put like your pegs for a washing line in rather than like a little shopping basket. I just love it, it's so cute. I don't know if I mentioned before, but I just used my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. I like to use that before I put any product in because my hairs naturally lay quite flat. So brushing product through and then putting that brow setter on doesn't really help me and it kind of brushes away the product. So by putting it on first, it just means that they set in the place where I want them to be and then I go ahead and apply the product and then they still stay there all day as well. So it's kind of like a win-win. A okay, I think I'm gonna move on to base. My face is so red and I know my hands look like so much lighter than my face, but honestly it's because I'm so hot in here. Where this room is outside, it's like, it gets really, really cold and then I put my heater on and then it gets really, really, really hot. So then I turn my heater off and then it cools down quickly and it's just like a never ending cycle. Like I just, I feel like I can't find that happy medium temperature. Like if I'm in a completely different position to what I was a second ago, that's because my camera battery just died and I changed it and I moved my camera as I was changing it. So I'm gonna be using my favourite combo of foundations. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is in the shade Barcelona. As you may know if you've seen my other videos, this one is too dark for me on its own. So I use the Ordinary Serum Foundation mixed in with it, which is in the shade number 2.0. And I just mix those two together and it seems to make a really nice shade that matches my fake tan. I feel like Christmas really crept up on me, even though it's at the same time every year. Like one minute it was Halloween and October and then you blink and then it's December and everyone's talking about Christmas and the decorations are up everywhere and Christmas music is playing. And don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Christmas. I love Christmas films. I absolutely am obsessed with the Christmas dinner. My parents always make the absolute best roast dinners. So Christmas dinner is always just like an even extra version of that. So I always love my Christmas dinner. I love wrapping Christmas presents. I love buying Christmas presents. I love the music. Listen, I just love absolutely everything about Christmas, but this year, I think it's the fact that I felt like I wasn't able to spoil everyone the same way that I usually do. That is just, it really put a downer on Christmas for me this year. And I don't know, I kind of felt like I wasn't as excited for it as what I usually am because of that whole like pressure on buying people gifts and that's nothing against the people that I'm buying them for. They're not like pressuring me into buying presents, but you, I think you just automatically feel that pressure and you just want to, like, you want to make them feel special on Christmas. You want to buy them nice things. And I've literally only just, only just started putting up my decorations this year. Um, the little wreath thingy that's behind me, I did last night and I've just been putting off, like doing loads of other little bits because it just doesn't feel like, a real Christmas to me like you can't go around and see all of your family members because you have to stick to three household rule. I look forward to 2021 Christmas I think when things are somewhat back to normal. Oh well there's always next year I feel like that is the motto for this year. There is always next year. I think I'm gonna try and stick my lashes on now because the glue looks as if it's gone completely clear. So if I, I don't know if you guys can see if I show you on this eye, but what I do in order to make my lashes look more natural is I'll get really close to the mirror and I'll take my tweezers. If you have one of those like special lash thingies, I don't know what they're called, but you would go along the lash band and you basically want to kind of go between the two, your natural lashes and the lash band, and you just kind of squeeze them together, but you don't want to do it too close to the lash 
band because obviously you might still have a little bit of wet or tacky glue and you could then get your tweezers stuck to the glue and then as you pull away you actually pull the lash off which I've done so many times so you have to be really careful obviously don't squeeze too hard because you will get your tool stuck to your mascara and you just want to go along all the way right into the inner corner and as I say you want to be super careful because obviously you are really close to your eye and especially if you're using tweezers like me. I'm also going to do a little bit of cream contour. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty Tantor. This is in the shade Light. Obviously you can see this one is well loved. I like to use this with a small little concealer brush and I like to paint on the areas that I want to contour. What kind of person are you? Do you like to wear like your PJs on Christmas day and then just like be all natural and like not bother with makeup or do you like to get glam on Christmas day? Because I feel like there's two different types of people. Because I feel like I like to get glam. I've never had a Christmas where I've sat in PJs all day. I find it really interesting to know because I think so many people do different things and your family follow different traditions and each family are brought up different ways so everyone does things differently. Like in my family, we have a roast dinner every single Sunday. But I know some families that don't do that and I find it like a really odd concept to like have like a fish and chips or a Chinese takeaway on a Sunday. That just is like wrong to me. A Sunday isn't a Sunday without a roast dinner. Just using a little bit of the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder. This is in the shade Cupcake. I like to press it in with a sponge under my eyes and then on my chin, around my smile lines. I am taking the Hula Caramel. I don't know why I'm looking as if I don't know what it is. <laughs> this is like the only bronzer I use at the moment. <laughs> this is the Doll Beauty Highlighter Palette. So I'm going to take this shade and this shade mixed together. I think their names are Shine Bright and Like a Diamond. I feel like I like to be like glittery and glistening around Christmas time. I think I'm just going to kind of repeat the same darker shades underneath my eyes. So I'm going to take the darker shade in the palette which is called Sting. And I'm just going to blend that underneath. I don't want this underneath the eye to be too dark so I'm going to blend this out anyway so it's a little bit more of like a gradient underneath the eye but I want the main drama to be that wing and then I'm going to take my first brush that I used on the eyes and I use this with the Hoola Caramel Bronzer. I'm not going to apply any extra product to this brush and I'm just going to buff out underneath. Okay so for lips I haven't tried this product yet. I've never tried any of this formula. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Lipstick. And I really fancied that kind of dark, deep red. I mean, this color is called Drop Dead Red. And it's this really, really deep, dark, kind of Christmassy red that goes really nicely with the gold. I literally think this is like the same color as my nails as well. I think I'm gonna line the outside of my lips first. I love a matte lipstick because I think it just looks so glam and it's so easy to wear throughout the night because it doesn't really fade. I'm gonna use a Maybelline Color Sensational Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Pl Midnight Plum. I'm gonna leave it at that for the lip liner. I'm gonna go straight on with that lipstick. Oh, it's dark. Okay, let's do a little bit of setting spray and then I think we're all good. I'm just gonna take my hair out and give it a quick brush through and then we are all complete. Okay guys, so that is the look all complete. I'm actually obsessed with this lip color. Isn't it the exact color of my nails as well? 
I really hope you enjoyed this kind of chatty catch up tutorial. It was kind of a bit of a mishmash of everything, wasn't it really? If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really helps me out. Don't forget to subscribe before you go. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.